perhaps be the nemesis of that tournament, the Dutch we're talking about. But uh, let's come back to an orange of a different kind, the happier orange for the moment. The orange brigade, of course, I've got my orange shirt out, it's my favourite <laughs> colour, the sunrisers. Uh, you know, the beauty of it that stands out from all of us watching as viewers is that happiness in the dressing room. And does that percolate through to every single player, whether or not you're out there or in the dressing room? I think it does, yeah. Um, one of the biggest things I've noticed since joining Sunrise is we try and make it a family environment. It's a very close, you know, very close, tight group. And that's what something you know, we've, we're very proud of as a franchise is being, you know, being almost like a family environment. So I think when you have that environment where everyone feels you know, respected and, and cared for and looked after, that, that goes into your practice, which you know, eventually goes into the way you play your cricket. And I think that's shown how we've played so far this tournament. We've been up against it a lot in the game so far and managed to grind out some really impressive wins you know, with some world-class bowling and also batting on, on tough pitches. I think um, the pitches we've had so far when we batted first haven't necessarily been that easy. So we've ground out some scores um, and then defended um, you know, our bowling attacks with second to none. So um, it's, you know, it's been a really enjoyable seven games so far. A little bit about uh, young Rashid Khan. I mean, uh, the, the world sees him as this uh, prodigy from, from Afghanistan, but what, what's he like as a character? I mean, I've interacted with him, interviewed him a few times. Is he one of the characters in the dressing room who really gets things going? Definitely, yeah. He's, he's a very nice guy. I've, this is the first time I've really met, met him and played with him. Um, he's very nice, yeah. Always got a smile on his face and you can tell he really enjoys his cricket and you can tell he's a guy, you know, he's always striving to improve as well. He's one of the best spinners in the world, but you can tell from the way he conducts himself that you know, he's not finished yet, he wants to keep improving and, and developing and I think that's a great trade to have as a cricketer. You enjoy playing him in the nets? Have you managed not to particularly, no. <laughs> oh yeah, I've faced him a couple of times, yeah. Um, it's, he's, he's tough, everything, you know, you're challenged every single ball, but, but that's a great thing coming here as a player, is you, even in your own team and your practice, you get to face guys of you know, that standard and calibre and even though, you know, even if I'm not playing, even if I'm not played in the tournament so far, the, the practice you can get in the nets the top-ups you can get, the coaches that are available, the extra fielding you can do, you're still improving as a player even if you're, even if you're not getting a chance in the middle. So we can see some of the personalities that come out, I mean you have contrasting personalities in the coaching staff like uh, VVS Lakshman, Muthaya Murlidhar and Tom Moody but within the team itself are there any little secret gems, the guys who come out with, the pranksters in the team, who are the guys who really really make it a different place to be? Yes. Uh, I've, uh, I've enjoyed young Khalil Ahmed. He's very, very funny. He's always looking to, you know, always looking to prank someone, hide someone's stuff, or always got a big grin on his face, um, looking to joke around with someone. So I've, re I've enjoyed spending some time with him. And also, I've got you know, Chris Jordan, who's a fellow Englishman as well. Um, he's a very nice guy and has good experience around the T20 circuit as well. So yeah, I've, I've made, I've been made to feel very welcome at this franchise, and it's, it's been enjoyable. But yeah, definitely hanging around with Khalil has been, been enjoyable. The first observation we had is when you have the likes of Bhuvaneshwar Kumar missing from the lineup, David Warner not playing, Shikhar Dhawan coming back from an injury, poor Billy Stanlake has a finger injury, and then you put up a world class performance. That shows you've done something well at the auction and you've got that bench strength to be a champion team. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. There's, you know, some of the setbacks we've had um, and to still you know, have won five games. And also, only, we were only a couple of hits away from winning the other two games as well. I think we lost by 15 runs and, and, four, to, and four runs. So it's been close. Um, and to do that, you know, losing some of your star players and, and having to change your team regularly is, just shows how impressive we are as a squad and the depth we've got. And there's also guys, you know, Carlos Brathwaite's not, not had a game yet as, with the likes of myself. So there's, there's still guys who are chomping at the heels of people who are playing to, to get a game. And I think that's a, the sign of a great franchise.